Earlier I made a video about how our potatoes fared after overwinter storage and I was stoked to find that when I took the potato and tried to squeeze it, you can see it's still firm. It looks perfectly good. Unfortunately, I was horrified to find that when we cut most of them open, I'm going to say probably 90% of them, they had this problem. And I didn't know what that was, to be honest with you. I thought that was maybe an issue of storage. But what I suspect this is instead is hollow heart. And hollow heart is an environmental problem that happens with potatoes. And it can come from uh, inconsistent watering. It can come from inconsistent fertilizer. And it can also come from cold soils. And unfortunately, I don't know which of those caused this problem. I can tell you that I plan on greatly increasing potato production here on the farm because potatoes grow very, very, very well here in Alaska and moose don't particularly bother them and the climate here is well suited for them. If this had been a commercial crop, uh, I would have lost almost 100% of my value. So what I'm going to do this year is now that I'm aware that hollow heart is a problem for me, is try to watch the water that goes into the bins. Uh, you'll see how I grow potatoes as soon as some of the snow goes, at least how I did it last year. It's not how I'm gonna do it forever, but until I'm done construction, I have to grow potatoes temporarily. And I'm also going to try to make sure the soil is warm enough before I plant my starts, which can be another big issue. Again, the problem in Alaska is cold soil, bingo. Uh, it can rain here horribly. Uh, and I can't really control that very much and then it can be dry. So I, I've got to figure this out though because obviously this is not acceptable. If we had been depending on these potatoes or uh, needed them in some way, this would be really bad. Yes, we could eat around the edges, uh, but obviously the potato itself is pretty significantly impacted and damaged by this hollow heart disease. So if you see that in your potatoes, you'll know what it is. I don't know exactly how to fix it yet, but now that I've found that there's a problem, I'm gonna figure it out.